Simon Mackinock, that was a big smile last Sunday. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, yeah, of course I was back in the in the squad, uh, just making my, uh, yeah, making my 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 first time there, and and, and like being around everything and, and feeling the atmosphere again. And of course, I got a big uh, big applause from the fans and everything. So yeah, I, I was happy, and I'm happy at the moment just to be back. Was it a disappointment you didn't make any minutes? No, 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 not at all. I mean, uh, me and the trainer, the physios, uh, we've had like a plan from from the beginning, and uh, and the plan was actually uh, first to 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 join in this cup game coming up. Uh, but we had some injuries, and the the trainer thought uh, uh, I was I was looking ready for it, and and he we talked about it, and 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 if there was needed for it, I could maybe play in the end. But because there was no need for it, and we were in front and defending, then then that's why I didn't came in. We we spoke to Sean van der Brom uh, uh, a while back, and he said uh, uh, Simon Makenok is not starting tomorrow in the cup game, but he's ready to play. Uh, were you expecting to start tomorrow because it's a cup game against uh, a, a lower league team? So it was an opportunity to start with you. But did did you know you wouldn't start and be in the squad as well, or were you expecting to start? No, no, no. I mean, again, I said we ha- we've had a plan from the beginning, and uh, yeah, I don't know what, but it's it. I don't know if if everybody else knows, but but it's normal when you haven't played for for like yeah for for now me like two years, but uh, like when I haven't played for, when you haven't played for a long time, and and you're just making your way back to the team, it's normal that you're not gonna either start or, or play a lot of minutes. You have to build it up, and and for for now, I've only played like 15. 20 minutes in a training match with 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 young so so that's all i've played until now so for me it's normal and i, I also for 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 everybody else it's normal that when you come back uh, you have to to build it up and and for me it's a, it's a good start to get some minutes in the cup game because it's, it's a little bit lower tempo and everything uh so so it's normal and and it will be unusual if i uh, if i was going into my first game and, and gonna start it, it wouldn't be like it wouldn't be the right way to do it so so it's totally normal that that I'm not gonna start. Uh, does the, 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 the fact that Excelsior, the, the, the opponent, plays on an artificial uh, field, is that a reason as well? You're careful tomorrow or? Uh, it is a little bit in the consideration that that is not the best thing for, for knees, backs, everything. Uh, yeah, we haven't really talked about that because it's no matter if it was grass or artificial or whatever, I, I was only allowed to play 20 minutes, 30 minutes maybe anyway. So it hasn't really been a discussion. But if if it was, it was it, it was maybe something to consider if if, if I was going to be able to play more. Uh, a, a bit of a, a, a question I already know the answer to, but are you ready to play? Yeah, yeah, and I'm I'm very happy. I'm very eager, and I'm very motivated to to finally feel good and finally make minutes again uh, I, I made some minutes last season um, after my ACL uh, reconstruction there but but I, I never really felt 100% but but that I really feel now and and with all the energy from fans and everything and my teammates everything I I'm, I'm so eager and, and motivated to come back and yeah give something back to to everyone who's believed in me since I've been here and I, I've been I've been through a lot and and been very unlucky and unfortunate with a lot of things, but but now I feel very good and that also makes me just want to play even more. Uh, maybe a bit of a private question, but not only as a player you had a hard time, but also as a person, it was a difficult period. Uh, will playing again or will making minutes for FC Utrecht be the end of that awful period in your life? I mean. Football is 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 my life and and like my job and and when you cannot do your job and you cannot do what you what you want to do and you you sideline line it for many reasons. Uh, of course, it will motivate. It will uh, affect you in a negative way. And then then if it's if there's something outside the field as well, it, it, of course it doesn't makes it better. But I always try to separate these things. But but of course, just just being back and, and training and enjoying playing football again and doesn't have any pain, don't don't feel any weakness anymore. That w- that helps a lot and everything. And and that's also making making the the life outside the pitch a lot more fun. I think. 
Okay, we're looking forward to see you on the pitch again. Thank you very much.